Oh yeah, it's the weekend and we have some real fights for you. Some real fight tournament action. We got CZ Stanley 47 and he's going up against Josh Mavs 26. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. All right, people, welcome to another round one showdown. Real Fights Tournament action. Please give this video a thumbs up to support the channel and this tournament. And Real Fights Tournament, it's all about fights that have happened in the past and fights that are happening in the future. And here we go. We got the snake, the steroid machine versus Cody Garbrandt. And it's Stanley versus Josh. And Stanley's in red, Josh is in blue. And the one thing, look at these guys, it's a phone booth fight. Did you see that? It's a phone booth fight. But the one thing I love about the non, you know, the non-pro virtual fighters is that you don't know what you're going to get. And it just leaves the door wide open for that Cinderella story. Because we don't know anything about Stanley. We don't know anything about Josh. And let's see what happens. The one thing, though, is they can't just plant, put the anchor down and start throwing. they got to have some strategy and... We're seeing some nice combos by Stanley, and Josh is firing right back. But the one thing, though, is Josh, got, he has to get away from that cage. Oh, nice smelly to the head. Nice smelly to the head, and he's circling. It's almost like he likes to hang out against the cage. Is he, is he disguised as Anderson Silva? For me, Ricky, I think that uh, Josh no good. He needs to circle away only one Anderson, and that's me. By the way, Burger King forever. <laughs> Let's see what he could do. It's almost like he seems comfortable, but he's taking his chances. There he goes. There he goes. He's taking his chances. Oh, and he's throwing heavy leather. And look at Josh. After the words of encouragement by Anderson Silva, he fires right back. And look at him. I like how he's kind of hanging back, though, a little bit. But again, going up against the cage is not really the best strategy. But maybe he's got a secret. And that it's working. It is working, and now he's forcing Stanley to backpedal a little bit. Wow, Stanley almost looks a little shell-shocked here after <laughs> the onslaught <laughs> by Josh. Oh, slow dance. Trying to change gears, so he gets out of it. And maybe... Oh, so Stanley's changing up his game plan right here. He realizes the heavy hands in Josh and is going with some clinch action. Oh, but Josh is turning the tables, but he's ran out of gas. He's run out of gas. Wow, Josh is still trying. <laughs> he is still trying to move and groove with low stamina. Low stamina, don't care. And Stanley's looking to lock things up. And this is not good, man. If Stanley... Oh, wow. I was just going to say, if Stanley could just maintain his com composure here, he can lock in this submission. Josh, I think, got a little too excited, people, and forgot about the old stamina game. <laughs> oh, and this is going to cost him. Look at it in the top right corner. It's blinking, and it's kind of unfortunate considering that Josh was showing some heavy Mike Tyson hands. And, oh, is it over? Is it over? It's done. Wow, that is unfortunate. But what a job by Stanley, man. You got to give it up for Stanley. He, you know, he went in there and he um, survived the storm and Josh and then picked his spots, switched up his game, got that clinch game action going on and got the finish, man. What an unbelievable job. Now, if you're in Josh's corner, you know, I said in the last video, he can't get too low after this loss, man. He had it. He had the victory right at his fingertips and he let it slip away, man. It's almost like he just got a little too excited after he was seeing success with those rocks and knockdowns, and then he totally forgot about his stamina game. But uh, what an unbelievable performance. We're going to get in on the next fight. Holy smokes. I, I'm really, really interested to see who these guys are going to pick next, man. So here we go. We're going to get into the next fight. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. This is a nice, interesting showdown. The reason why I'm saying this is because these two bantamweight girls are my two favorite girls to use. Holly Holm, 
my opinion, has the best complete striking in this division. And Shevchenko has the best complete package in this division for the women's bantamweights. So let's see what happens. And nice job on using that front leg sidekick to, to gain some space for Stan. Nice, and, and this is what was doing good things for Josh, was those uppercuts, the series of uppercuts. And again, he's so comfortable against the cage. Oh, man, that spinning sidekick to the body is deadly. If you can land that when your opponent has low stamina and you have high stamina, could be game over. Well, let's see what happens. We're almost seeing like a carbon copy of that first fight in the beginning. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe Josh has learned something here. He's got to be more patient. Nice. And those kicks by Holly Holm, man. That's like getting kicked from Rockhold in the middleweight division, really. Can't take too many of those kicks to the body. She will stun you and potentially finish the fight. And we're seeing Stanley right. Nice combo by Stan, man. Going with the straight and then the lead shot to the body. Oh, nice smelly kick to the head. Oh, he's doing a great job mixing things up. Wow. Look at Stan go. Is it over? It's over. Just like that. Big Daddy Stanley. Is it CZ Stanley? I'm Canadian, man. We say Zed. But what a nice little victory by good old Stanley. Getting the W, taking care of a heavy-handed Josh. Let me know your thoughts on this video. <laughs> oh, it was entertaining, man. It really was seeing these guys go at it the phone booth fight right there in the beginning was fun to see but anyhow guys i gotta get out of here this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports man just be prepared to see more tournament fights man i could pop out these videos like no tomorrow so continue to you know hit that thumbs up man and i'll continue to pop out more of these videos all right guys this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports have a great weekend guys and don't forget man you are awesome Hey boys, welcome to this installment of Games We Love. And today we're going to be looking at WWF Superstars, brother. So boys, growing up, my father used to work at a local burger joint where the meals were epic and the times with your buddies was awesome. But what wasn't awesome was waiting for him to finish until 7 o'clock after school. And he would say, get your greasy butt out of my face, go to the local variety store, get yourself a big bag of chips and get out of my hair. But little did he know with that extra change, I would use it at the local arcade at the back of the store, boys. And I discovered my favorite arcade known as WWF Superstars. And to begin this episode of Games We Love, I'm going to give you my rendition of the Macho Man. And it goes like this. Oh yeah, all you YouTubers out there. I'm too cold to touch and too hot to handle. Oh yeah. Now this game, boys, was a tag team affair. Where you would have to pick your best combination of your favorite wrestlers and I always pick the ultimate warrior and the big boss man I always wanted to pick somebody fit and somebody fat <laughs> that's right boys and I felt most comfortable with this combination and the ultimate warrior was just unbelievable at gorilla pressing guys he could do it to anybody probably not Andre the Giant but he can grill a press pretty much everybody. And the big boss man, this big tub of goo here, he was underrated because he had that big splash that he could always do. And when you hit that splash, you would take away a lot of power off your opponent. And that was one good thing. Look at this tag team combination here, boys, as they're working together. And I win the first battle. In this game, all you got to do is win three matches to win the title. The first match is pretty much a breeze. The second match is a little tough. Third match is obviously hard for the title. Now, look at the Ultimate Warrior just doing his thing. Remember back in the day, WrestleMania at the Sky Dome when these two squared off, boys? 
I was going for Hulk Hogan all the way. Who are you guys going for? But I remember crying when the Hulkster lost. But anyway, let's get back to this game. As you see me getting my butt kicked. But the Ultimate Warrior is trying to get away from the Hulkster. And he sets the pin. We're fast forwarding right to the finals. Because isn't that what you want to see? Some epic video game action. And that's what you're going to see, boys, in the finals right now. I'm hyped up. I'm amped up. And listen to this. They are declaring themselves challengers to your world championship belt. No one can beat me the Bucks. Look at this guy. I'll put you to sleep with my million dollar Ha <laughs> ha, you're a punk. Give me those monies, buddies. Anyways, boys. In this epic battle, you got to try to isolate the million dollar man. And the trick in this game is you want to like alter your attack. So see how I threw him against the ropes there? Your next attack should be a grappling move as you see. Look at that gorilla pressing the million dollar man. But that's what you want to do. You want to try to make sure that you vary your attacks because if you keep on going for the body slam, the computer will definitely reverse your move. So you want to watch out for that. Now, the Million Dollar Man in this game, he is like a juiced up regular guy in this. He is really tough to beat and you got to make sure that you are checking out your power because you don't want boys, I remember as a kid, I would not know how to tag my my tag team partner and you got to make sure that you tag on the upper left corner. If you try to tag at the bottom, boys, there's no way it's going to happen. So you got to make sure you tag on the upper left corner. And look at the big boss man playing catch with Ted DiBiase and the Ultimate Warrior again. Doing his thing to try to get the W. And you want to avoid him. See, I'm trying to avoid him to tag the Andre the Giant, brother. Because Andre is tough. And look at him. I'm trying to do what I can to try to get him back on our side. But Andre, boys... He, you know him, he is just tough to do. And here he goes, he's calling him on. The big boss man's getting scared. I insert another quarter, and it's fat versus fat, boys. What's gonna happen? Oh, he's going off the top rope. Oh, he missed with the flying elbow. Trying to do something, and now he's gonna get bullied like he were bullied for your lunch money growing up, boys. But look at the big boss man going with the back body drop. But he can't pick him up. You can't pick up that big butt. And he's now <laughs> picking him up like he's picking up a can of cookies, boys. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is an awesome game. WWF Superstars. And, oh, what's the <laughs> what kind of hump move was that? And it was reversed by Andre. Fast forwarding, with the Ultimate Warrior, you could body slam him, as you saw right there. And I'm going to do it again right here. You can't gorilla press. I don't know if any of you guys can gorilla press Andre the Giant with the Ultimate Warrior. But the best that I could do was the body slam and right here I'm just fighting tooth and nail trying to figure out a way oh he couldn't do it trying to win this battle I must have inserted about a buck a buck filled of quarters and buck meaning like every 25 cents is a credit right so what I'm saying is a buck full of credits and uh, right here I'm trying to soften up Andre it's not really working and here we go. Let's see what's going to happen here. Can't pick up that big butt. Uh, what, how come I'm not learning my lesson, brother? How come I'm not learning my lesson? That that big butt you can't pick up. I got a taste of picking it up earlier, but now I can't. Look at me inserting another quarter because you got to avoid Andre submitting you with that bear, bear. What do they call that? I can't even think right now with that bear chokehold there. He comes back in. This is later on in the match. I'm going a mile a minute. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to finish this battle. The Ultimate Warrior just is getting thrown around like a ton of bricks. Boss Man's coming in to kind of close the deal. Here we go. Maintaining my distance. He goes for the headbutt. What's going to happen now? High risk maneuver. Elbows down. Here we go for the pin. One. Could it be two? Is it going to be three? There's a new tag team champions. And that is the ultimate warrior and the big boss man. What would you call that tag team? I would call them Team Fatties, brother. Fat P-H-A-T and fat for F-A-T, big boy. And look, when you win, Elizabeth says a nice little thing here. You get the girl for winning. Just kidding, but... After you win, you think the game is over, but since you paid your hard-earned chip money from what you got from your daddy, the game does loop 
over and over. And what they do is they give you um, any type of combination of all those superstars that are in this game. And you could keep on playing forever, boys, until you run out of quarters. But I love this game. WWF Superstars came out in 1989. It just brings back great old memories of the burger joint, pissing off my father, and chips and video games. It was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Games We Love, boys. I'm signing off. This is Hank Gaming TV. Please subscribe if you want. Give it a like, brother. Tell your friends. Tell your girlfriend. Tell your extended family that Hank Gaming TV is in town, ready to fill the YouTube generation with some retro and current content of video games. I'm out of here, boys. It's been a pleasure, and happy gaming to you all. See you later, brother.